This video is sponsored by EA. So I am back with another Apex Legends video and today guys we're going to check out the latest season in season 8 and go over everything you need to know including a new legend. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So we do this with every new season to Apex Legends as it's a game I play although I don't cover as much on my channel anymore it's still a game I enjoy. So season 8 for Apex Legends has not long landed and with it came some cool new features. We have changes to the classic Kings Canyon map, changes to that ranked mode and a brand new legend. So let's get into it and start with ranked. So a consistent and ongoing goal for Respawn with their Apex ranked team is to ensure competitive integrity through skill based matchmaking. For season 8 they are taking a bigger swing at some of their goals while taking in a lot of feedback from the community. Some of their goals for season 8 are creating a healthier top end in Diamond Plus. Diamond Master and Predators are reserved for the best of the best. They say they don't want to change that but they do want these players competing against more players of similar skill more often. In previous seasons, the player pool in Diamond Plus was too small to consistently provide fair matches. So they now aim to improve this by providing more opportunities for good players to earn that RP. They also want to improve match quality for ranked matches. This means they are aiming to fill most, if not all, of players in your ranked match with players in the same ranked tier. This may cause slightly longer queue times, but it will drop in more competitively fair matches. So here are a list of changes to the RP system designed to support their goals. Earn placement RP earlier in a match. RP rewards begin at placement 13 instead of 10 in the match. Kills and assist count has been raised to 6. Earn RP for more of your kills and assists in a given match. Assist threshold increased to 10 seconds. Up from 7.5 seconds after dealing damage to a target that is killed by somebody else. Predator has been increased to the top 750 players and they say allowing more players to enter Predator should improve queue times while remaining an exclusive tier for the highest levels of play. They also speak about matchmaking tightening. Players below Diamond will matchmake much more often within their own ranks. And finally guys, for season 8 onwards, they state they are excited to announce Diamond Skydive Trails will be making a return as a ranked reward. So exciting times for players who like and are interested in that ranked mode. So next up people let's check out the brand new legend in Fuse. So who is this dude? Well Fuse is a ladies man, a man's man, an all round manly man. Fuse is a one man wrecking crew and he knows it. Fuse exudes joy. He's a laid back explosives enthusiast who's damn near covered in things that go boom. Fuse doesn't lack confidence, but he often lacks a plan. He's a blow up first, ask questions later kind of guy, who's always looking for a good scrap. Fuse grew up on Salvo, a brutal planet ruled by a rotating collection of misfit warlords bent on mayhem, murder and good times. For most of his life, he worked as a mercenary alongside his childhood friend, Maggie. But while she aspired to become one of Salvo's most powerful warlords, Fuse felt a pull of the arena. Fuse found his calling late in life fighting in Salvo's blood spot, the Bone Cage. He proved to be the best, most charismatic and beloved gladiator on the planet, but he itched to join the grandest stage of them all, the Apex Games. While Salvo remained a part of independent space, that dream was impossible. But once they joined the syndicate, his chance arrived. But it came at a price however. Maggie, that childhood friend of his, wouldn't let him go without a fight. So quite the backstory for Fuse. So what does this new legend offer in terms of abilities? Okay so we first have Knuckle Cluster. Launch a cluster bomb that continuously expels airbase explosives on impact. We then have Grenadier, stack an extra grenade per inventory slot, fire grenades farther, faster and more accurately. And then we have the main one, Mother Load. Launch a bombardment that encircles a target or targets in a wall of flame. 
So quite the new addition who does indeed look super cool to play as. Okay, so let's move on and check out what's happened to King's Canyon. Well, the map has changed quite a lot compared to old, with Respawn making this map not only smaller, but basically adding in new areas to explore. We also now have the Crush site. So Fuse's debut ended with an act of sabotage that has blown up parts of King's Canyon and brought down a massive gunship. As it fell from the sky, it took an entire mountainside with it. So the ship's final resting spot has opened up a large, previously unplayable portion of the map. The lingering smoke can be seen clear across King's Canyon and the resulting fuel leak has contaminated and visually altered most of the area's water supply. Now ECHO, standing for Ecological Cleanup and Hazard Outreach, has been moved in to help clean up the mess. The ship itself is a tall, king of the hill power position with multiple ramps and scaffolds surrounding it to create a jungle gym of interesting gameplay. To the left and right of the ship are multiple eco stations that will provide teams plenty of breathing space and loot as they plan their assault on this ship. The crash site will also change up how existing areas are experienced. Artillery got caught up in the destruction and now has an exciting backdoor entrance that takes you up and into this new northern region. The tunnel to the east of artillery that led to containment has also been hit by the sabotage and now allows for a rotation from the north as well. These new openings should create all new gameplay scenarios as teams explore the northern section of King's Canyon. King's Canyon effectively became smaller, as I said earlier, with the destruction of School Town, but in Season 8, the new crash site adds back the real estate and then some in what will be hopefully a welcome place space to the north. Also don't forget guys you got over 110 levels in the juicy battle pass to earn that amazing loot too while you are here and playing and leveling up. So season 8 looks great people and I'm about to jump in. If you guys want to try this game for absolutely free use the link at the top of the video description. But guys I have been DPJ, this is what you need to know about season 8 the latest season to Apex Legends. And on that note, the end of the video is here. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.